Hello everybody, Tony with the Frill Auto Group. Today I'm going to take you through our 2020 Shasta Phoenix 285 RLS. This is 33 foot, 7 inches in overall length. Weighs approximately 9,400 pounds unloaded with the GVW of 11,500 pounds. This has a 40 gallon freshwater tank, a 33 gallon gray water tank, a 33 gallon galley tank, and a 33 gallon black tank. This has a Weather Shield Plus insulation package with an enclosed and heated underbelly done in four foot sections. This has the Asdell construction, is prepped for solar, backup camera, and a 4G LTE Wi Fi extender. This has the Asdell construction in the sidewalls, which is a composite sideboard instead of your Luan backing board. Check it out, read about it. It's a definite upgrade in the construction of this coach. We have the four point auto leveling by Lippert, it's a ground control 3.0. We have a partially painted front cap. We have a power awning with the LED light up underneath the awning, not in the roll, so the awning does not have to be out to utilize that light. We have our outdoor speakers that light up in blue LEDs. We have our full pass-through storage. We have the LCI Solid Step by Lippert. It has a big top landing step for any shoes or going in and out of the trailer to make it easier. This sits on Dexter axles with 16-inch wheels and tires. Here's our partially painted front cap where the dark color is paint which really cuts down on the chances of any fading. We have our turning point pin box done at the factory. It's a definite upgrade along with the 16 inch wheels and everything else I'm mentioning because you do not need a sliding hitch with a short bed truck. We've already taken care of that for you. It is a three slide out rear living floor plan. You have your outdoor shower, your black tank Santa flush, six gallon water heater. You have your 50 amp service because we do have the two air conditioners from the factory installed on this that are both central and ducted. As we walk around, you're going to notice the contrast on these sidewalls, on the sidewalls of the slide outs and the back wall and the rock guard up front is a light gray where the flat exterior walls are white. Really makes a nice contrast when you're going down the road. You're not just driving a white trailer down here, but you don't have the dark color to keep up in maintenance. There's your big back window for when you're inside. You can see outside and anything you back up to to view, there is your backup camera bracket. We have downspout gutters to keep any streaking off the side of the trailer. If it starts to rain, there's your gray sidewall. You can see the contrast there. This is your outdoor kitchen done in a hammered metal. You have a shelf, a stove, you have a bracket that can hold up to a 55 inch TV. You have 110 plugs, USB plugs in there, and lots of LED lights. There's LED lights all through the coach. And there's your 16 inch aluminum wheels wrapped in 10 ply 16 inch tires. All right, let's go inside. This does sit on Dexter axles, which is very important. As we walk inside, you have your residential style flooring and carpet. We have our solid surface counters. We have a 10.7 Everchill 12 volt refrigerator. We have our Furion cooktop and oven with the glass front, blue LED lights on it, and it does light itself. We have the lower profile hood here that does not get in your line of sight when you're cooking. A lot of them are ver very big and kind of hit your forehead on it. The backsplash is now a window. So we walk through here, you're going to notice lots of linoleum where it counts. Lots of storage in the kitchen. We have our Thomas Paine Theater seating that sits directly across from the TV, which is cool. You're not turning your head to watch TV. The other thing is you can see out your back window from the most comfortable seats in the house. That is also heated and massaging and has LED lights underneath. That center arm is removable, it just lifts right out. So if you either want to get cozy or you don't need two drinks at once, that's pretty good. We have our trifold sofa in the back, which is very comfortable to sit and sleep on because you're not sitting on a folded mattress and the most comfortable to sleep on. We have plugs at both sides of the sofa, 110 plugs. And on the one side, we have USBs. You have your pleated shades all the way through with nice Balance is all the way up and over. I, I, was, I was stuck there of what to call them, but very nice decor in the valances. There's your fireplace, nice wide fireplace, which is a heater. Has a low and a high setting, 750 watt and a 1500 watt setting that will keep it pretty warm in here when it is cold outside. There's your 55 inch furry on TV with your AM, FM, CD, DVD player for your indoor and outdoor music right below it. And a nice little cubby for all your remotes. You have one for the stereo, one for the Fantastic Fan, which I'm going to show you in a minute. One for your TV and one for the fireplace. We have our freestanding dinette, which has storage in all the chairs and the tabletop. 
As I turn in our island, we have our dual well stainless steel sink. There is your pantry with motion lights. As you open this, if it was plugged in, the trailer had power plugged in or battery power, it would turn on the lights. This is a very deep, full-size pantry, and we even have a 110 plug in there. There's plugs everywhere, as I mentioned in all my videos. Here is a nice little countertop area for a coffee pot or a blender, whatever time of the day it is. There's your two-zone thermostat for both ACs that are controlled by that. You have zone one and two. There's USB ports and all of your light switches. As I spin, you'll notice a cabinet there that kind of protrudes into the outdoor kitchen, but it's great for DVD storage or anything else for your entertainment center. As I pan up, you have your fantastic fan, which is technically a whole house fan. It opens and closes at your desired temperatures that you set on the digital thermostat remote control and will close if it starts to rain. It's got a rain sensor. You see all the LED lights on the ceiling. This thing lights up very, very bright, but not annoying. As we go up our steps, there's my camera, you'll notice that there's solid surface steps, no carpet to get broke down. This is the biggest place where carpet looks horrible because there's no padding. So there's solid surface steps and there's no moldings right and left to get beat up by somebody walking and the step fits nice and tight. Our toe kicks are carpet, where it's usually the opposite. That's wood and there's carpet on the steps, so your carpet gets broke down and the toe kicks get marked up. Phoenix does it vice versa. As we walk up here, we're going to see our pocket door to our bathroom, which is really nice because no door pinning you against the wall as you're trying to get into the bathroom because most of the time they favor the opening to the master bedroom, so someone standing here has to open up that door all the way and it makes it extremely tough if you're trying to get in the bathroom, the master bedroom door is closed. There's your porcelain bathroom sink. This is a dual entrance Jack and Jill bathroom. There's your linen closet, I guess you can say. Porcelain bowl toilet. Nice large corner shower with a skylight above. Then you have your polite fan in here and a rack for all of your towels. Nice medicine cabinet here for all of your toothbrushes and aspirin and whatever you got. And there's a nice little cubbies there. So lots of storage. As I walk through, you're going to see your, your wardrobe here into the bedroom, then a wardrobe to the side of the bed, and cabinets all the way up and over. This is a full queen bed. Most of the time when they're appointed this way, it is a shortened queen, but this is a full 60 by 80 queen, so residential sheets will fit it. You have plenty of walking room on each side of the bed for making it. As I spin, I'll walk down the side of the bed. So plenty of room over there, plenty of room at the foot of the bed. We have our light switch there, right above the light switch is the thermistor. That is the sensor for the second air conditioner. That talks to your thermostat. So this is zone two for your second air. There's your uh, bracket for your bedroom TV that will come out and pivot towards the bed. And you have a nice cross draft ventilation here between the two windows. This is a black label pillow top mattress in here. So the most comfortable that we can opt to get from the factory. I'm going to walk back out this way. As I walk out, I'm going to stand at the top of the steps, and I'm going to show you the one control. This will enable you to either work your auto leveling, recalibrate it, do any of the service uh, functions of it. It also has my RV in there, which houses some of your manuals and how-to videos. And here's your control panel. Everything is electric, and that's a huge benefit in my opinion because it's very user-friendly in the unlikely event, but could happen that there's a failure of one of the slides. You're not dealing with a hydraulic system where you have to, well, it, it's it's really tough. And there's no chance of leaks. This is a very strong system, bolted with the slide outs and auto leveling. The auto leveling is so strong it will lift this complete trailer completely off the ground. There's all of your light switches. It's a gas and electric water heater, both controlled from right here. And then all of your tank indicators and battery. I'm gonna pan around here, kind of give you a lay of the land. All right. Go back outside. There's our big top landing step. Back up here. All right, everybody, this is our 2020 Shasta Phoenix 285 RLS. Triple side rear living with outdoor kitchen and could be an outdoor entertainment center if you choose to put your TV out there. This has 16 inch wheels and tires, 10 ply tires. Has a fully enclosed and heated underbelly with the Weather Shield Plus insulation package, four point auto leveling. Has two ACs both on a thermostat. Has Asdell construction. You name it, it's got it. Partially painted front cap, turning point pin box. Come check it out. 209-404-2200. Check us out on the web at our website at www.referralautogroup.com. As always, we will not hustle and hassle you till you buy. 
We are not high pressure salespeople. We're gonna educate you and leave that buying decision completely up to you. You find that hard to believe? Come check it out and try it. We have a full service center for our clients. We do all the warranty work and repairs here for all RVs that we sell. We also have on-site financing, parts, and supplies. As always, thanks for watching. We truly appreciate it. Hope this video helps, and we look forward to talking to you. Take care, bye-bye.